This is a vacuum gauge, uh, old school to be sure. Uh, before the advent of OBD2 uh, scanners, this was the go-to instrument to uh, determine the health of an engine and to try to do a bit of troubleshooting. Um, as much art as it is science. The face of the gauge uh, has a few pointers on it to help you uh, make sense of the readings. On the internet, you can download a chart like this one that can also help you out. This is also a vacuum gauge, or more accurately, a vacuum transducer, uh, one that I built myself. Um, at its core is a generic map sensor. I didn't go and use a name brand, uh, they're fairly pricey. Uh, this generic sensor can be purchased at Amazon for about 10 bucks. You need a connector for it. Uh, most automotive uh, supply store will have those. I got this one on eBay fairly cheap as well. If you follow my channel, you'll see how I make these uh, cables so that you can power a sensor like this. A 5 volt reference box to do the powering. And because it's within a 5 volt range, it's perfect for this Handtech HT6022BE, which has a native 0 to 5 volt input. The uh, voltage output of this sensor is inversely proportional to the uh, vacuum, which means that as the voltage decreases, the vacuum increases. So I had to calibrate uh, this transducer to the analog gauge to be able to determine uh, the offset and the multiplier required to have a custom probe within eight scope so that you could read uh, directly in inches of mercury the output of this transducer. So it turns out I have uh, friends in high places and uh, the calibrations that I derived are now a, a preset probe that you can choose from within eight scope. Within the eight scope app, you'll find a map sensor as one of the uh, preset probes I selected. Within the automotive module of 8-scope, I press record. You'll notice how it follows the analog gauge very well. It's also very sensitive. You also have the ability that this is recording as you do your work. Pretty nice, I think. I've already mentioned uh, two of the advantages that you might have with the uh, vacuum transducer as opposed to the analog gauge. One is the sensitivity uh, that you get out of this. The other is um, that H-Scope automotive module will record your work. There's a third um, advantage, and that is the ability to have a second channel on your oscilloscope. Uh, that would um, correlate to what's happening with the uh, vacuum readings. For example, you could uh, set up your second channel on the uh, throttle position sensor and the movement of the throttle could correlate to the vacuum uh, readings that you're getting and all of it can be recorded real time in the automotive module. You could have the second channel possibly on uh, one of, uh, say, injector uh, number one and the injector should uh, be commanded within the intake stroke. So that gives you a reference point. Um, intake equals vacuum, uh, reference to cylinder number one. You could work with that. Conversely, you could uh, have your second channel hooked up to the uh, ignition coil, the primary uh, on cylinder number one and have that as your reference. So now you know you're in the power stroke on number one and um, have a look at how that correlates with the vacuum readings that you're getting, all of it recorded real time within uh, the H-Scope automotive module. All of it's a lot of fun. Take care, guys.